What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hustle Q, man. We back at it again, another video. This video, we um getting ready to do some custom masks, man. We got a big order to do. Well, it's actually only 30, but to me, it's a big order, man. We got the 8432 white toner printers coming up, man. This thing is beautiful. You got to get one. I'm going to drop a link at the bottom one day so y'all can get it, man, how I got it. And it's just beautiful, man. It pays for itself. Um, We got the monitor up there, man. If you guys can see it, probably can't see it. Uh, where the white pages let me see right there right there man we're doing a run for these guys they wanted 30 masks it's at ten dollars a mask so it's a good run for me um i'm a little nervous because everything's got to be correct everything's got to be on point but anyway look man enough said man let's get into it right now all right all right you two we back man let's get it going man um as you know this is a rip program we got the image up right there, man. We're going to just hit that one. I got to remember what settings I did it off of. I really don't remember, man. But I'm going to just wing it. Go with the best settings. I right, Sorry if you guys hear the fan, man. But in here is like all new paint. And um, I ain't trying to smell the fumes, man. Y'all find me passed out. I'm straight, homie. Anyway, uh, we're going to print off the 8430. What is that, man? Keep mixing up the number. 8432 white toner printer, man. OKI. Okay, um... It prints out 11 by 17, also prints out small ones, but I always use 11 by 17 sheets. I will give you some information on this, man. These sheets right here, this film paper, man, $3.50 a sheet, and that's if you're a member, all right? It comes with the adhesive backing to where you marry it together, which I'll get into that either another video or so on, man. But anyway, look, man, let's get back over here. So what we're going to do is, man, the saturation, man, I always bump that up to 10, learned off of Learned that off of someone else on YouTube, man, and it works really good. All right, and the brightness. Um, brightness, I'm going to come up with just five. Five is good. And we're going to go right here. And as you see, now I have it at 150% coverage. That's the white toner coverage and everything. Now, if I go ahead, no, you know what? We're going to keep it at white 150. If you go any higher, uh, from my experience, the white toner, excuse me for that glare, you guys. That white toner and the bat will come up so much to where it'll cover up the other colors, man. And it just looks sloppy, dude. Anyway, we're going to preserve the partial transparency. And um, let's hit next, man. Now, we're going to go over here. Where it says, I'm always, I always have it on 40, man. And then we're going to put it on lines. Now, I'm not too familiar about this. From what I'm understanding that when you put it on lines, that's good for when stretching. If you know something is going to stretch, is it's good. Basically, it won't crack. Okay? I mean, it'll it'll crack if you stretch the hell out of it. But it won't crack. And because of these are masks, everybody's face is different. And the mask is pretty much one size fits all. The masks are stretchable. So let's say you got someone with a big face like myself. Put over the mask. The, the print is going to stretch, but it's good for stretchability and all that, man. So it's going to work out good. Also, remember, right here, man, this is very important. If I was printing on a bright media. Now I'm going to a dark media. And the dark media, if you guys don't know, that's when you're printing on black, um, black shirts. And if you got any type of black in your design or anything, it'll subtract it automatically. That way, it'll save you ink and it just uses the shirt for the background, man, like that. All right, other than that, man, let's go print this out. Wait a minute, do I got everything connected? I always double check to make sure you got everything connected. Like this ether cord right here, man, sometimes I forget to plug that in and I'm wondering why our printer's not working. Crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit print. And um, once you hit print, you'll see that little green marker go up. And that's what it's thinking, man. It's thinking like a dial up, something like that. Anyway, we'll be right back. All right, real quick, man, I'm gonna show you guys the adhesive paper. Um, when you do order this paper, they order by the 100 sheets. And order 11 by 17. And if you can see, it's a forever transfer paper. And um, this is the back side of it right here. And this is the front side of it right here, man. It's just plain white, which is this is adhesive. This is what, um, you got to be careful what side to put this on. Your mirror side is going to go face down on this. And then you put it onto the heat press, um, marry it together and go from there. All right, man. Seems like this thing is ready to print. Hit that online button. Let's see what these come out. Um, always make sure you turn your printer on about five or ten minutes before you start so it can warm up and everything and get that toner. We're using dry ink toner, man. Um, better than the liquid toner and plus these last longer. Um, I can do probably 
man who knows i can probably do like 500 shirts on the startup toner that they give me man it's crazy right okay anyway this is what it is man give you guys a good look at it man this is the mirror side so let me set it down you know what this is a father's day shirt i did so i'm gonna use this right here these are shirts that's got to go out today by the way guys um so what i do is you want to be very careful because you don't want to scratch it all right that makes sense if you can see it on there anyway what we're gonna do now man we're gonna cut this out got to remember cut around the edges um after you marry it together because it does leave a ring uh, hopefully i'll see one and i can show you and now we'll get ready to marry this together got to turn on that heat press let that warm up and uh, we'll go from there what's up youtube okay man look check it out so now i'm going to show you guys how i'm gonna marry the sheets together what i do and everything i got this little tripod stand so hopefully it works for me so if i drop the camera i'm gonna keep rolling y'all just watch me anyway so look check it out man um let me unplug this real quick so right here this right here is where we're going to marry the sheets together when i told you guys about that adhesive paper it's just a white backing um it's going to go on the back of this basically makes it stick down uh, from what i'm assuming i'm not that's what i know i'm following instructions um we got the heat press set about 325 326 and if you look right here all right went up to 327 Let me double check that it's supposed to be 325 um if you look right there 120 seconds that's to marry the sheets together and uh we're gonna go from there man so let me show you what how we're gonna do it <clears throat> let me adjust this camera again if the camera falls it falls my hat is right okay so look now i got the camera set up no need no camera person let's do this okay oh real quick before you do it press down on it for about maybe a few seconds all right so what you want to do is heat the bottom up a little bit okay this part you want this heat too all right Go like that. The print side, you want to face down. The adhesive side is on top. <clears throat> Always check right here to make sure ain't nothing hanging off. I mean, this is a 16 by 16 heat press. So I got to make sure nothing's hanging off so that adhesive, <clears throat> excuse me, that adhesive would get on there. And again, watch your knuckles, man. I keep forgetting my gloves. Use a Teflon sheet. Put over it. And then we're gonna hit it down. Now, I've been having problems with this thing just popping up. I don't know if it's old or what. I have no idea. So we'll go right here and um, got 120 seconds, man. We'll be right back, man. All right, y'all. So we back. Got about 10 seconds. We're gonna lift this up, take the Teflon sheet out, and we're gonna peel back. Lifts up. Put your Teflon sheet down. Now I do right here, grab the corner and just peel back real slow. If your hands are burning or something, you just have to take it. Take it like a man or a woman, however you want to do it. Take it like a kid, but just peel back slow. Start from one corner to the next corner. And when it gets crazy right here, this is where your knuckles, you got to be careful. I don't touch that thing a grip of times. And the bottom part is hot too. But I'm just taking my time. On this one right here, you see I did some Lakers along with the order I got. Because I need some Lakers masks and I'm giving away for free with purchase, of course. Anyway, peeling this back, you can kind of pull. But you want to keep it down to the plat, the plating, the floor, whatever. You know what I mean, right? Keep it down, man. Because you want to keep that heat on it. No mistakes allowed. All right, that's it. Set that down. As I was telling you about right here, if you guys can see, you probably can't see, man. But there's a little white speck right here, and that's what I mean. You got to cut around the edges and everything like that. So, boom. Now I got the adhesive. Really can't tell, but there's adhesive on here, and it only goes on to the, the ink part. It doesn't go, well, it does go as a ring, but it goes on the ink part nowhere else. So all you will do now, we're just going to cut it out, and we're going to snap it on a mask, and I'll show you that in a minute, all right? Okay, real quick. So here's the sheet. This this is the adhesive sheet, okay? This is what all the adhesive came off onto the ink. One of the things you want to do, always look over the sheet just to make sure everything came off. You know, like you kind of glance at it, put it in the light, you see the glare. 
make sure everything glance off of it and then just go from there. You know you're good, everything is on there because if it ain't on there, you will know when you print it on a mask or shirt, whatever you print on. Now, so what we're gonna do now, um, we're gonna be printing on a mask and let me show you guys so you guys can see it. Hope you can see it. I'm gonna bring it down to, uh, oops, bring it down to 280. Hope you guys can see it, man. Anyway, bring it all the way down to 280. And then the setting right here will be 40 seconds right here. That's what I'm gonna lay it down for. And then this one right here is gonna be laid down for 12 seconds. Um, that's to press it in a little bit more because it is shiny on the first time. All right. All right, we're gonna wait for that to cool down. We'll go from there, hit you right back. All right, YouTube, we back, man. So check it out, man. We got the one mask right here. I'm gonna do one for you. I gotta do 30 of them, but I'm gonna do this one for a demonstration. Hope the camera's good. Um, Check it out. Taurus, but I don't get two. I don't want to burn my phone. But that's the one I'm getting ready to do. And we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna do it right here, man. Make sure this camera good for y'all. Anyway, we're gonna lay this down for like 40 seconds. Press it on right here. I got it even. It's like a four-inch logo, two inch wide. That's how they want it. So it's gonna go on the side all the way up to the middle of the mask. Um, I tried it on and I and I look pretty sexy with it. But anyway, let's throw this on right there. Hopefully everything in place. Normally I use my heat tape. So look, check it out. I use this heat tape and everything, but I didn't use it this time. So hopefully I don't mess up. We'll see. Anyway, we're going to lay it down right now. And I'm going to hold on to it, man, because this press likes to jump. I think I'm going to go ahead and invest in a new press. But anyway, this is going to lay down for 40 seconds. After we go for 40 seconds, we set the mask to the side. We're going to let it cool off. Every pill is a cool pill, so you got to let it get to room temperature. If you try to peel it off while it's still hot, the ink is not going to lay down. It already happened to me, and I just wanted to see for myself. So basically, set it to the side, let it cool down, do something else. You know what I'm saying? Get another shirt going or whatever. Do what you got to do. All right? Oh, and I got something to tell y'all after this real quick. <laughs> Give me one second. It's about to let up. All right. Take it back. Peel back on it like that. Lay that down. Boom. Now all we're going to do is lay this down over here, which y'all can't really see. Let me show you. So we're going to lay the mask down right over there and then just go from there, man. All right? Be right back. All right, YouTube. So back. So check it out, man. So I just got off the phone with some people. Shout out to my big brother-in-law right there, man. Um, Got me, uh, got me some business, you know what I'm saying? And one thing I want to do real quick before I get into it, man, I want to thank everyone that's been giving me business to keep me afloat. eBay has slowed down a little bit. That's why I haven't done any really videos and everything. Um, trying to get out to the thrift stores and trying to go yard sale hunting, but um, I'm pretty backed up on the t-shirt business that I'm trying to grow also. So this is like one of my streams of incomes. I'm trying to get multiple streams of incomes coming up. So man, make sure you subscribe, dude, because I got a gang of videos coming up. And it might be funny too, but anyway, getting back to the story, man. God bless. I um, want to give a shout out to him, man, for giving me this business, man. They, um, his church just ordered like 30 more masks for me. I gave him a discount at $7 each. Um, the mask I'm doing right now, that guy's paying $10 each and he's got 30. So you do the math and everything, man. So this is a $500 day. And plus he's got me some more business coming on the way for the fire department and everything. So it's pretty, pretty good. Also, I'll show you right here. I got to finish up these Father's Day shirts. There's one right there. That's 20. That's 40. And that's 60. And I got one more shirt to do. That's going to be $80 right there on top of the mask. All this is getting prepared. So let's just call this a $500 day. $500 plus dollars a day. I'm blessed. Appreciate the love. Like I said, I don't want to go back to that 9 to 5 job because it's nothing but a headache. I know it's a guaranteed paycheck, but it's nothing but a headache, man. Anyway. Let's get back to the video, man, and finish up this mask, all right? Peace. All right, Charles, so real quick, it's actually cooled down. I got it on a cool spot. It's not too hot in here. So real quick, man, let me show you how we do it, man. We do it just like this. All you got to do, grab a corner and just peel back. Boom. Now, I even got the little TM right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Trademark. Anyway, so this is the mask. It's not complete yet. So what we're going to do now, we're going to lay it down one more time. I don't know if you can really tell in the camera. It's real shiny and everything. Um, but what we're going to do is lay it down one more time. Make sure it's flat because you don't want no creases or anything. We're going to lay it down one more time. And what that does, that gives it the matted look. 
All right, let me get a little closer for you guys. Doesn't give it the matted look, and uh, plus the ink, the print itself sinks into the material, giving it a longer wash because these are washable. And that's on any shirt and everything, man. It gives you a longer wash. So we're gonna set it down, and we're only gonna go down for 12 seconds. That's it. Once we do it for 12 seconds, we're done with this, man. Let me show you right now how we do it, though. Three more seconds. All right. Now, look, this is very, you got to be very careful with this. When you're doing it, you want to peel back. Okay. I already made the mistake. It got jammed up, and it was really bad. But anyway, so check it out, man. Set the mask over here. Boom. Boom. It's got a soft feel to it, man. It's also stretchable. It can stretch really good without any cracks or anything, man. That's on that 8432 white toner printer, man. The printer is beautiful. Beautiful investment, man. Y'all better get one. Anyway, that's it, man. That's it. That's how we doing it. All right, man. So that's it. So I showed you how I did my mask and everything. So I got to get to work. Y'all got to go home or y'all ain't got to go home, but you got to get out of here. Something like that. You know what I mean, man. Anyway, make sure you subscribe, man. Hit the like button. Tell me if you like these videos or not. Drop a comment and everything. If y'all need some custom masks, hit your boy up, man. I got you. Don't even trip, though. Anyway, man, again, I appreciate the love from everybody giving me the business and everything because y'all know I don't want to go back to that headache job, man. I know it's a good paycheck, but it ain't worth the paycheck. I'll tell you like that. All money and good money, man. Anyway, peace. Love.